there's just no way to not immediately draw all your attention to the shoe. Even though I'm kind of trying to be like, look up here, it's like, nope. Look at your cheese foot. Oh, hi there. I'm Kristen, and this is Mike. Mike produces a lot of my videos here at BuzzFeed. So we were talking about fashion faux pas, uh, and I mentioned that I accidentally got engaged while wearing Croc brand flip-flops. Everyone I tell that to is horrified. I think like Crocs are like a very traditionally maligned shoe. To which I was like, why though? They're actually really comfortable. They're one of my favorite shoes to wear to theme parks. They're waterproof, they support my arches. So this week I'm gonna see if I can style a bunch of outfits with Crocs. This is gonna be easy, okay? They're just shoes. But I do think that most people watching this will think that it's going to be hard. The other thing is that I share a workspace with the most fashionable people at Buzzfeed the cast of Ladylike, and the team that works on Boldly. Whenever I walk into work, I'm like the seventh best dressed person there. So at the end of the week, I wanna see if I can impress both the Ladylike and the Boldly girls into thinking that these outfits are actually good. How would you feel if I told you that I'm going to be styling five different looks around Crocs? Why the hell would you do that? Because they're very comfortable shoes. Ew, and no. Are the dresses long enough that it hides the shoe? Crocs? How many outfits out of the five do you think I'm gonna be able to pull off? One, if that. I think black Crocs are possible. So two and a half outfits, I yeah. think you'll be able to style successfully. So you don't think I can do this? No. Crocs are definitely a statement piece, and I have yet to see them woven into anything where it's not like, oh my god, there's Crocs. <laughs> I think if anyone can do it, it's you, Aww. but you have a lot on your hands this week. Thanks. Now I gotta shop for these Crocs. Look at these yellow ones. What do you wear with a pair of yellow Crocs, though? Okay, I have these fruit ones. That's kind of adorable. It is adorable. It's also kind of for a five-year-old. You're also wearing a dress with cherries, literally as we speak right now. Can I help you with something? <laughs> I think I need something really hard. Here is some camo print clogs. There's like a fun little tropical clog here. The thing is, is that the bottoms are white. I'm definitely gonna like help myself a little bit here and get like a pair of black classic ones. We're gonna be wearing comfy shoes this summer, Mike. The Crocs are here. Here's the first pair. <laughs> These are just as full of holes as I thought they would be. <laughs> we have this lovely pair of tropical Crocs. I see that the colors are very interesting. <laughs> you can style black Crocs, right? Are you ready for this pair? <laughs> Bam! Whoa! Okay. These literally look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> I just picked these because I thought, like, you know what's fun? Making my life miserable. <laughs> you haven't seen the best pair yet. Well, I'm nervous. You're building up some... <laughs> Fruit by the foot. Man, that is a vibrant terracotta. <laughs> What do you think, Fred? These are tame compared to mm -hmm. these. <laughs> Look, it gives a yellow glow on my skin. Yeah. Yellow? Mm-hmm. Gone. Do you have any ideas of what you're gonna wear with this? Nope. So I thought these would be the easiest. <laughs> I don't think that that's the case anymore. My first instinct is to like pair this with something fruit related. Like maybe I should just lean into the whole fruit thing, but like I'd have to get the color scheme right and then it would be like fruit on fruit on fruit. Nobody wears this red except four year olds. I think I'm gonna go for the yellow. This isn't mustard though, so mustard's not gonna work for this. They're really cute. I just don't think they go with anything on earth. I wonder if I could do denim with this. Some of these though, I'm gonna kind of look like a preschool teacher. What's my budget? You know, just try to keep it reasonable. You sound like the dad about to hand over the credit card in a teen movie. But I love shopping. Here are these like bright yellow culottes. They are a statement pant. The problem with these is that they have the white bottom. So I have like this plant body suit, but like, I don't know what to put on the bottom. <laughs> Let's talk about these. These are all neutral colors. So if I create something with a neutral palette, it should be okay. Maybe it's just all black and then like all over and then this. It's a blender full of nature colors. Let's just get nature colors. I sound like a person who's lost their mind. Just nature colors. So the black ones are easy, right? What about like something in gingham? It's a playful print. I could do like a hat. I'm not gonna lie. I got these cause I thought it'd be funny. I didn't think I was actually gonna like find anything for these. Maybe like a black skirt of some kind. Let's order this stuff and let's see what happens. <laughs> I've received all of the clothes that I'm gonna use to style the Crocs with. So for this project, obviously, like I wanna do it correctly, and that means overbuying. <laughs> okay, so clearly this sucks. In my defense, 
I wanted to pick something that was gonna be really bright. This dress is plan B. This is really cool, but not on me. And not with these shoes. Uh, on me, it just kind of looks like someone stuck me in a garbage disposal. Woo! <laughs> you think you're covered, but then it's like, surprise panty. <laughs> I officially do not know what to do with this. I think I'm gonna have to go more 90s here. Like the Soviet Union is still on all our school maps, 90s. Ta-da! I think this might be the worst outfit I've ever put on. Okay, I'm beginning to think these just don't work with pants. Cause they make your feet look so big. <laughs> Pants don't really even go that well with the dark ones. I'm in over my head. Everyone was right. I need to make sure that all of the bottoms don't go anywhere near the shoes. I think they have to be alone and like untouched. Take two, did some shopping. So this blue gingham I think goes well with the black Crocs. I think rompers are actually kind of the best bet since rompers sort of denote like, eh, I might get in the pool, I might not get in the pool the same way that Crocs sort of give you that impression. I've also rounded up every distressed denim skirt in a tri-state area that belongs to me. Okay, I've gotten dressed for the day. Now we're gonna go see what my friends think of the camo outfit. I think this looks pretty darn good. I tried on like a lot of iterations of this outfit and I figured out like pretty quickly, you just can't wear pants with Crocs. I honestly think there is no other possible way to style a pair of camouflage Crocs. You know, at this point, I almost don't care. I think I look cute as shit. I ended up using the black skirt that I was gonna use for the yellow Crocs on this outfit. This was also the only ones where I took the strap and I put it in the front. Cause I kind of just wanted to treat these like mules. Sexy, but also casual. You look really hot. Really? <laughs> the shoes are gonna take a little bit of getting used to for me. Where are you going in this? I love you so much and I'm so worried. This is really about your journey, Chrissy, and your journey to discover that Crocs are not so bad. I would not have noticed the Crocs because I've been with you all day and have not noticed the Crocs. It just looks like whatever you're doing today, you want to be very comfortable. But it doesn't translate in the outfit wise because like you're wearing a shorter skirt and like a low cut shirt. So I feel like that's not the most like comfortable. My first thought was to judge you and my second thought was I think it works. You know, Crocs are not that far off from Birkenstocks. Should we put them together? Crocs and stocks. Yeah, I mean like, you can borrow them. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? I think you wear them better. I think the outfit would be better with a different pair of shoes, probably. <laughs> These yellow Crocs were the hardest Crocs to style, like hands down. I was wearing SpongeBob on my feet. So I thought like I'd do this daisy crocheted top with some pasties and then like the denim skirt, because denim is kind of a neutral. I forgot my pasties. So I tried to put like 30 Band-Aids on my nipples to cover them. Did not work. This is crocheted, my love. We would see that they're 30 Band-Aids. Are your tops out? No one's gonna be looking at your shoes when your boobs are out, so that's, I like that. The outfit itself is really fucking cute in summary. You just still hate the shoes. Yellow is a lot. You know the shoes that Daisy Duck wears? Those are like the croc version of the Daisy Duck shoes that she wears around the park. They're so yellow. I actually like the black girl contrast. Really? If you need to show that you have boobs, it's really okay. You remind me of a little prairie girl. <laughs> Like, like you just belong like bouncing around in a, in a, in a spring meadow. I think it's adorable. Really? I think it's really cute. Yeah. Really? Yes, they are very bright, but I think it works because you got this poppy yellow, you got that poppy yellow. I don't think I did it. <laughs> I reached for the stars and I got burned. Outfit three, I got this little gingham romper because I realized that gingham goes really well with Crocs. I borrowed one of Chrissy's hats. So this outfit I'm calling the Chrissy because it feels like something Chrissy might wear. So let's see if Chrissy actually likes it or gets mad at me for borrowing her hat. You look cute. Wait, I really like this. I like the gingham, very hot right now, very on trend. I like the off the shoulders. I like the romp. You literally said everything but my shoes. You know, black Crocs are probably the best ones yet. I will say that. Really? You look like a beauty blogger. That's like walking down the street. It's like, here's my lookbook for the fall. They look like flats. You get to the shoes and you're just like, could have looked better with boobs. Gotten to the point where it's taken me so long to style this that like when people give me opinions, I'm just like, no, fuck you, buddy. It's like, you have no idea what I've been through, how many clothes I've bought and then returned. And then in one case, rebought. Everyone is just like, why are you still doing this? And I'm like, because I am fucking stupid. <laughs> this shoe can go back to the hell cave it came from because it doesn't go with anything. There's something about the fact that like it's white 
and there's a pattern on top. This feels like a really expensive way to look like the person everyone hates at the tennis club. I'm panicking a little because we're shooting tomorrow and I thought this was gonna be really good and cute. So I gotta find something that's gonna go with these. And I have like, I don't know, a couple of hours to do it. Yeah, it, this came to me in the middle of the night because like I'd seen this bodysuit early on when I was shopping and I was like, eh, I don't know about this. I had this white and green Swiss cheese plant bodysuit and this silver metallic gym skirt and sunglasses. What do you think of my super cute outfit? You look cute. Except for those. They're fine. They're a slipper. We are going to South Beach. I love this. Is Beach? this a bathing suit? No, it's a bodysuit. I really love this outfit. Your sunglasses are adorable. Thank you. The Crocs are definitely a tough sell. Does this outfit work? It works. Yes. Yeah, it works. I am actually not mad at this. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the shirt mm -hmm. goes with those shoes. Like it's a theme and I'm here for it. I mean, I don't agree with those shoes. But you look really cute. You do. I love this outfit. This outfit completely works. I really like how it goes with the reflecty mm -hmm. skirt thing happening. Yeah. And the Crocs are an essential part of it. I didn't think Crocs could be disguised, but my attention doesn't go to the shoes. And did That's you do wild. that on purpose because it's such a shiny skirt? You're yes. just like, how do I distract? I'm proud of you. I just posted this on Instagram. Oh, what do you think? In this Insta photo, I don't hate the Crocs. Fact. Good. I thought this outfit was a throwaway. So I was pretty surprised when people were like, where did you get that outfit and those shoes? And I was like, oh, we can run to the final outfit. Let's just like do the white crop top with like the overalls with like the deep cut so you can see the sides of my body. And then we'll just use the fanny pack as a belt and a pop of color. Personally, this outfit is actually my favorite. The thing about this is that it needs a belt. So why not a fanny pack? Plus, the outfit had no pockets, so pocket up front. I didn't even notice you were wearing Crocs. I honestly, you're pulling them off, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone pull off Crocs before. Literally, I just can't stop smiling. Well, I love this. You styled this so well. I can tell that you're like not running away from the fact that you have on Crocs, because the mm -hmm. fact that this fanny pack is red, uh -huh. it really like kind of pulls the attention down and pulls it together. <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but I have more than one favorite outfit from this experiment. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> This is it. I love it. I have nothing bad to say. 100% I did not think it would go as well. There's a reason why this has taken me about four weeks to do. Exactly. I'm proud. Really? Yes, I'm Am very I doing proud. It? You, you are. Thanks, fashion mom. Yay! Mike, we did it! We did it! We did it. This took forever. People can tell me in person, like, oh, your outfit's cute, but behind my back be like, mm, why is she wearing rubber duck feet? I wanted honesty. So I sent photos of all these outfits to everyone on Ladylike and Boldly and asked them to score them anonymously on a scale of one to 10. I don't think there's any sort of consensus on any of these outfits. So like if we can solidly get a 6.5, that's, you know, a fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's good enough for me. Only Mike knows the scores. I've uh, tallied them up and uh, Kristen doesn't know what they are. We're about to find out whether or not I was embarrassing myself for five days. Average score. 6.7. 6.7! Camo is tough, okay? Like the fact that I got two nines and a 10 on a camo outfit, I think is pretty significant. Ironically, they are so camo that they stick out wherever they are. All right, I'm ready to hear. I, I know this one's gonna be a disaster. Average score? Uh huh. 5.8. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I thought. <laughs> High score was a nine and the low score was a three. So somebody loved it and someone else did not love it. Who loved it? This isn't gonna be anonymous, but it's totally not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, who is the traitor? Chantel loved it. They are aggressively yellow. Like misdemeanor yellow, three counts at least. These Crocs are going to jail. Average score of 7.6. Yay! <laughs> I styled Crocs. Almost everybody said it was successful. Was Chrissy the six? No, Chrissy <gasps> gave it a 10. Chrissy gave it a 10? Yeah, the six was Chantel. <gasps> Someone's nosy. I am nosy. This is also the only one where I only bought one thing. Sometimes the simplest things are the most successful, which is why this video will do worse than a taste test. Number four. For outfit number four. 6.8. Of 6.8? <laughs> the high score was eight. Okay. And the low score was five. Five? Mm -hmm. It was Devin. It was Devin? Yeah. 
<laughs> I am a little bit emotionally attached to whatever score I'm about to receive. Just lay it on me so I can begin the grieving process. Average score, 7.1. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I think that the fact that I was able to style any of these is pretty impressive. And I think I did four pretty well. Every person I talked to was just like, good luck, buttercup. Don't suck, but you will. No one's gonna give me a dot of a scores ever again. No, you've, your credibility is shot.